No problem. Yeah, we're good. Thanks. Hey, Coach, how you doing? Yeah, how are you? Uh, I was, just want to ask you about Evan Batty and just kind of uh -huh. watching him go through what he's gone to, to get to this point. What's that been like for you as a coach? Well, it's, you know, Evan's a special young man, and we knew that when we recruited him. But then you know, we knew that he may or may not be able to play his freshman year when we recruited him. And obviously, we lost the waiver, and, you know, he paid a pretty severe penalty for some things that happened when he was a young, not even a teenager, 12, 13 years old. So, um, but to see him uh, handle the adversity of the last two years, the way he's handled it, the, the grace, the attitude, the uh, positive nature that he's looked at everything. He's had some tough, tough days, there's no doubt about it, but just how he's handled uh, both his health issue and also the, uh, you know, having to sit out two years of basketball. Uh, and now he gets to play, which is what he loves to do. Evan told me that he had told you, that you had told him that, well, even if he wasn't going to be able to play, he's still going to be a scholarship guy at, at Colorado. What were those conversations like with him when you weren't sure and he wasn't sure if he was going to be able to play again? Well, you know, to be honest with you, I felt like Evan had to come to that, uh, you know, uh, place in his mind if did, did he truly want to do that. Because if he didn't, I don't think there's anybody in the world that would have you know, judged him or uh, questioned that decision. But uh, he loves the game of basketball. That's part of who he is. And, and, it's, and it's, again, the passion that he plays the game with. Um, uh, I don't know if that ever crossed his mind. I'm sure it crossed his mind, but he, he knew that he wanted to play. And, and I just wanted to support him in any way I, that I could. Because, you know, when you go through something like that, it's, uh, basketball is a very small thing you know, when it comes to your health. And uh, I guess the last couple things for me, what have you seen from him in practice so far? And what are your ex expectations for him this year? Well, here's what I've seen in practice. I, I've said this earlier, you know, our football coach, Mike McIntyre, before the team takes the field, always says, welcome to the fight. And uh, Evan, uh, you don't have to welcome Evan to the fight. He's going to bring the fight to you. I mean, he loves the physical nature of the game and, you know, uh, going to be interesting to see, you know, how much they're going to let him be physical because he's a physical presence on the floor. But he brings a fight to the to the court every single day and, and uh, plays with great energy and, and great passion. And expectations for him this year? I, you know, I, I just want him to get back in the swing of things. And, you know, he had an opportunity to go to Italy this summer and play. We went on a foreign trip last year. He didn't play, couldn't play. Uh, but just to get back in the swing of uh, playing the game that he loves and, and, and playing with the uh, uh, the energy that he does, uh, you know, he's going to go through the freshman adjustment just like everybody does, and how quickly he adjusts is yet to be seen. But uh, again, physically, he's he's ready to go. Thank you. Thank you. McKinley was telling me a little bit about Evans' defense, and that mm -hmm. he's never seen a player that can guard at times one through five. What is Evan going to bring to the table defensively? We don't talk about much about that. You know, you you look at a guy like Evan, you see his body, you see his body type. He's big and burly and strong and barrel chested, and you don't, you know, you don't equate that body type with good feet. But Evan's got great feet, and I think that's what McKinley was talking about: is is his ability to move his feet and. Uh, switch ball screens, show on ball screens, which he does a lot as a big guy, but also the ability to keep guards in front of him. And uh, you know, Evan's not a what I would say an above the rim type player. Uh, he's a below the rim type player, but he's he's uh, he's really smart. He knows how to use his body. And when you run into Evan, uh, you usually bounce off of him. He doesn't bounce off of you. So he's got the physical, you know, ability and presence defensively to hold his ground, but he's also got uh, the good feet that can keep people in front of him. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Coach Paul, hey, good Casey. to see you, man. Hi, Casey. Uh, hey. um, you have what a lot of coaches want, which is a point guard yep. who has the potential to run your program confidently. Um, I want to ask you a couple questions. One, how important is having a point guard in today's college basketball world? And then two, what's the next step for, for McKinley? in his basketball. Yeah, I mean, having a point guard like McKinley is, uh, you know, you, you, it's like having the quarterback in football. I mean, it's, it's critical to your success. There's no doubt about it. And, and when you have it, it, it makes your job a lot easier. The, the, two, the two challenges that McKinley and I talked about after last season uh, 
were number one to become more of a consistent outside shooter you know from the three-point range as well as you know 15 to 17 feet as well he's really worked on that part of his game McKinley is a worker he, he gets in the gym uh, He's got an unbelievable work ethic. The second thing is cutting down on his turnovers. You know, he's a playmaker. He can he's going to get his assists because he 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 makes plays for others. But uh, cutting down those turnovers, and we can get those, uh, you know, uh, cut in half or even you know 33 percent less, then he becomes an elite level point guard. How do you do that? How do you get a guy? Because you don't want to sacrifice his aggressiveness. You nope. want him to be a playmaker, right? So. What are some of the, like, is it film study with you? I think a lot of it is film study. Uh, a lot of it, you know, we've, we've instituted a thing in practice that uh, we have some Versa climbers that are on the side of the floor, and every time punishment. a turnover is made, it's not punishment. It's, uh, it's what we call, uh, uh, <laughs> Can't wait for this. yeah, what, what do we call it here? It's not, it's not punishment, though, Casey. It's, you know, it's, in <laughs> it's incentive. It's incentive. It's incentive to not turn the ball over, okay? So. Aggressive Great. Well, you, you can put your. Uh, quote me how you want to quote me. I don't care. <laughs> but no, but it, it's just it's a way to let them realize, because I think sometimes in practice, especially, you know, you, you make a turnover and there's no, you know, it's just like, what, you know, whatever. And it's like, this, this is a, hey, so part of it, but that's part of it. But the other part is film study and, and decision making and. Um, and, 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 and I do think for a player like McKinley, who had to play so many heavy minutes as a freshman, you know, sometimes fatigued, uh, we're going to really uh, try to monitor him. He's in great shape. I mean, McKinley's a guy that he, he doesn't know how not to play hard. So I think we've got to really manage his minutes, you know, as the season progresses to make sure he's fresh, both mentally and physically, because I think that's part of it as well. Last time we saw you in a Pac-12 setting, you'd blown out your calf. <laughs> did, you, did, did you heal all right? Did the uh, off-season training change? Off-season training uh, is fine. My calf is good. I'm ready to go. I'm not gonna, still not going to win any foot races, but I'm healthy. All right. Kind of what's the energy around campus and how do you want that to filter into the basketball program? The energy is great. This is a great time to be a buff. I mean, our, uh, a lot of our fall sports are doing well, as you, as you alluded to. Our football team's 5-0. and oh, and, and, uh, and I think it just it, it generates a lot of excitement on campus uh, within our alumni and, and, and boosters. And uh, I'm actually going to go to L.A. This, this weekend and watch our football team. Uh, I'm really excited for that. Um, but uh, yeah, and, and, and it, now it's incumbent upon us as, as winter sports to take that momentum and continue it and, and uh, make all of Buff, Buff Nation proud. Thank you.